women label things to elude emotional love from men so that they can always find a reason to disregard and disrespect you maybe dump you now before we dive deeper let's first understand one thing why will she label things obviously we identify things by the word and those things will have more meaning when we label them that is the psychology of a woman the moment i label it and then there is just a minor evidence that supports that labeling that allows Isaac to have an identity and identify himself with that thing, that object that exists. When I say Hannah is trying to create a label, it means she is trying to create a relationship in your reality. But for her, she has no relationship in her reality. Do we understand that? So this relationship that exists, it is for you. Because she knows psychologically, this is her psychology world. As far as I have no relationship with the thing outside me, which is now Isaac, there is no problem. Okay, but as far as Isaac has a relationship to the thing outside him, which is Hannah, there is a problem in his logic. Because her showing up consistently, okay, and then being friends, and then eventually being close to each other allows her to deal with her past through you. But she knows she doesn't need to create a relationship. The relationship that you think exists, it is a relationship in your own world, in your own logic, and in your own reality. And she knows it will just work on you by showing up consistently, laughing, vibing with you. But she has nothing to do with the relationship that you think exists. And this is what we call label. She just needs your energy around and she can only get your energy by creating a relationship in your own logic reality. Okay? So for you, Isaac, her showing up consistently is to create a relationship that you think exists in your own reality. But in her own psychology world, there is no relationship, so there is no problem that she will deal with in the near future. Do you understand that? The only way you can deal with this label is to take her showing up as as what is and not it is a relationship because this relationship that you think exists it is a label that she is creating for you to have emotions towards her and now she can control you now that you think there is a relationship and you have created your own reality that that reality doesn't really exist in her. The only way a relationship will work is if your reality and her reality are on the same page. There is a relationship. That is what you think. There is a relationship. That is what she thinks. And now both of you create your own realities that both of you will commit, will respect, will please, will love, will care, and then many more. So it becomes a relationship. When there is no relationship, this is when you will be hurt. Because if there is no relationship, the emotions that you will experience from Hannah, it will be different. She will be using a game and again she is detached. She's not attached to you because she doesn't have a relationship. You are the only one who has a relationship. So you will consistently invest to get a result from her. And consistently investing so that you can get a result from Hannah will lead to you expecting a return on investment. Because you think that when you try a little bit hard, okay, the relationship will work but it is just your reality that exists in this reality it is an illusion 
Okay? And it has nothing to do with what is and what exists. Her existence, it's just what is and she doesn't want that relationship. But she has to create a label by showing up consistently to get you think that she wants a serious relationship and the energy and her existence will give you a false perception and illusion to think that there is a relationship and you must act in a specific way to make sure that the relationship works. She knows that acting in a certain way and creating a label that a relationship exists allows her to deal with her past. Because she can't deal with her past when she is alone psychologically. She needs someone, she needs a different energy to at least keep her moving psychologically and find a reason, create something so that she can create a coping mechanism. I don't know if that is the, 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 the right spelling, I'm not sure. This is a coping mechanism for her past. And once she realizes that your energy is different compared to your first energy when you are having a relationship. Now, at this very moment, she knows that you want a return on investment and she can't do that because investing back will allow her to also create a relationship that she doesn't want. What will she do? She is done with your energy. Now, she wants a different energy. Who, Johnny? Why, Johnny? Because Johnny will have, again, a different energy. And Johnny will again allow her to deal with her past psychologically. This is just a coping mechanism of creating a label so that they can elute okay, emotions or cause emotions in your own reality that you think exists so that you can think there is a relationship. When you think there is a relationship, you will be there for her to provide an energy that she needs to rely on. This is what we call... Narcissism, but in a passive way. Why? She's not using your money. She's not using your assets. She's just available. Okay? So that convinces you more to be available. But she will get bored with the pattern of selecting men to just be around. She will end up to slowly start sleeping with these men so that men can cope up and can be around because you have some men who won't entertain this energy. So she will just end up sleeping with the guy so that the guy can consistently show up for that is a leverage she is using to convince you of a reality that a relationship exists logically. The labeling might be in a form of I must dress in a specific way to appear in a specific way that is appear attractive. Consistently using the same route, consistently laughing with you, consistently showing up at your place, and I'm dressing in a specific manner, that is labeling. I am slowly creating a specific moment that you will identify yourself with. My friend, she's not now your friend, your girlfriend, your lady, that is the label. She's attractive, that is the label. She looks good, that is the label. I admire her, that is the label. Now there is the emotional loves that exist in this process. Now she has you. She has the upper hand. She is in control of you. What are you supposed to do? I always tell you, your value as a man is a male. So her existence, it's just what is in reality. It has nothing to do with the word you're trying to use on her because she, ex she exists. She has been coming here recently, every time, every now. That is just what exists. Imagine she's just an object. It has nothing to do with how attractive she is. Dressing in a specific way and showing up in your workplace, it's a way of labeling me that I have a feeling, an intention, or I like you. That is also a label. And that is what creates the emotional love. Once you find a way to relate, okay, to relate with something outside, that is where now there is the emotional love. The innate itself there is division and conflict psychologically my friend did she show up again she's so attractive my girlfriend that is the emotion i'm trying to get out of you
Sex alone eludes an, a feeling and an emotion that you genuinely want her. Even when you don't want her, once you identify that word every time you see her, you will want her. Because that is the pattern and the memory that exists in your brain. That is what you are relying on when making decisions physically, even psychologically. She's attractive. I like her. Bullshit. You think you like her because your memories are motivating you to like her? For that confirms that she is someone who is attractive. The word in it itself, it means nothing. Her existence has nothing to do with you or her liking you or her wanting you to like her. That is psychological torture. Imagine she's married, she is in a relationship or maybe she doesn't want a serious relationship. Finally, now that you are emotionally in love with her because she created that moment for you, you are the weak Isaac. I thought he was this strong. I thought we will have a relationship without him getting attached. But he is paying too much attention to me. I don't like him. His love value, love value I'm living. I know you will ask me. But what if I like her? Do you like her because she has been showing up? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you really need one? You don't need any lady in your life, but you might want some lady in your life. <laughs> Do you know that what exists or what you think exists doesn't exist? You are using your memories to rely on something that is just a fabricated reality because in reality it doesn't exist. It only exists in your mind. That is not a reality. That is something she is using to get you engaged in an emotion. She showed up yesterday. She showed up today. And you will say, this is just a character and a behavior that exists in narcissistic women. No bullshit. Sometimes she's not aware that she is acting that way. Because she wants you to chase after her. And she thinks that is not narcissism. To her, that is healthy. So she is again creating a labor for you to go after her. That's why I tell men, most of the women that you have your wives, 99.9% .9 of them, you are with them because they also wanted to be with you. It doesn't matter if you tried hard. A man too harsh to you. If a man, you can just communicate so that I can be polite. But I won't lie to men. Because sometimes you need to deal with things the way they are. The energy that you are relying on, and then you label it as love, she is creating that emotion because she knows how to act in the right way when she is around you. She has to laugh. She has to vibe with you because it's the right energy for you. It's the positive energy. The moment she pulls back, that energy is not in existence. And you think love is not in existence. No. The emotion that you are feeling, it's not in existence. I don't know. I mean, maybe yourself, right? Peace.